Hey guys, welcome back. This is your host, philphonecage.com, and what you see here is called CATS61. CAT, yes, it comes from that manufactured caterpillar that you see from those construction vehicles and boots and whatnot. It's not exactly the same company that builds it. There's a company called the Bullet uh, from the UK who gets the licenses from those names of the brands and makes phones named after Caterpillar, Energizer, and Land Rover. So the biggest feature of this phone, aside from being rugged, is that it's got a thermal camera, air condition measure, and a laser distance meter as well. All right, so this is the packaging. Here we go with the phone itself, Caterpillar S61. We're gonna put it right there. And aside from that, we got a charger. This is the British style plug. It's got Quick Charge 3.0 standard. The phone supports up to Quick Charge 4.0. And here we go with the USB Type-C cable, Type-A to Type-C. So you can connect this to this and to that. All right, other than that, we have the quick start guide and the warranty statement. All right, what you see here is 5.2 inches of full HD display, IPS panel, but in 16 to 9 ratio rather than 18 to 9 of the recent Fed. On top, you have receivers, sensors, and 8 megapixels of camera, and those three are actual buttons. You can press them so you can activate them while you're wearing gloves. Instead, you don't get to have a fingerprint reader anywhere on the phone. On the right hand side, you have the power key, volume rocker, and those four holes right there are for the air condition meter so they suck up air in there and checks the quality of your indoors air on the left hand side you have the sim card slot and the micro sd card slot well actually it's a dual sim device so you can pull that off for a sim card the main sim card and another slot that can host another sim card or a micro sd card so it's a hybrid slot you can't have both at the same time and a little thing here is the certification logos just like the older sony xperia devices and this is a programmable key that you can assign to any of the apps or use it as a push to talk button so you can assign a third party walkie talkie app to push talk and let go on the bottom you have a usb type c port with the little flap a speaker on top is the standard headphone jack also with a flap Remember, this is IP68 waterproof. And on the back, you have 16 megapixels camera along with the FLIR logo. That means it's got the thermal camera right there. We'll get to more detail later. LED flash, Caterpillar logo, and back is a grippy material so it doesn't slip out of your glove. Class 2 laser product is a sticker. You can peel it off. And this is that laser product. This is a laser distance meter up to one to eight meters. Turning the phone on, we have the Caterpillar logo, and while it boosts up, let me tell you a little details on the specs. It's got Snapdragon 630 octa-core processor, nothing particularly powerful, but still very power efficient. 4 GB of RAM, 64 GB of storage, expandable Android Oreo, and 4,500 milliamps of beefy battery built inside. It's done booting up, so let's go through the setup. All right, it's done booting up. We're gonna boost up the brightness a little bit. There we go. The screen doesn't look that bright, which Brings me concern is whether it's gonna look okay under the direct sunlight. And launcher looks like this with a pretty stock interface. We can go to the settings and that's also pretty stock. Let's go through the system menu, Android 8.1. And we have a programmable key menu right there. You can assign either short press or long press to any of the apps or notification, answer hang up calls or show recent apps, all those features and enable push to talk mode. The most notable feature would be the FLIR app. Thermal image you see there is gonna change once I put my hands on it. Yep, average 33 degrees Celsius. And as I take my hand off, you see a different temperature reading. You can switch between either the image through camera or the hybrid and switch between those color templates. Another feature would be the measure app that you can use to measure distance. And it's gonna tell you how far that is. It seems like it's going to come in handy if you're a contractor or you're working on your house project. And last but not least, we have the air condition menu right there. The indoors quality right now is good with a temperature of 28 degrees Celsius with humidity of 100%. That's really high. We should turn on the AC. Anyway, slide it back. You have the real time graph of the air quality indoors and the history of air quality of the days that passed by. On top of that, Caterpillar does know its customer base. So there's glove mode. So when you turn it on, even when there is something between your finger and the screen, 
the screen registers your touches. And all of these very special features come at a price. I'm not only talking about the actual price, but also the weight. This thing is heavy at 250 grams. Compare that with the Galaxy S8 Active, which is pretty heavy, but a lot lighter at 208 grams. This thing is massive and heavy at the same time. And also it literally costs as much as well. In the UK, it's retailing at 799.99 pounds. That's well over a thousand US dollars. So you'll really need to need it in order to spend that much on a phone. So that was the unboxing and the quick look on the Caterpillar S61, the latest thermal camera, laser distance measure, and air quality meter equipped rugged smartphone. If you have any questions, please leave them down in the comments. You can always meet us on Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, and Google+. We'll see you guys later. Ciao.